Ugh. I keep trying to remember. It's a strange sensation. Knowing that, for a brief moment, the briefest of times, I knew everything about that other life. It was in my head. In my muscle memory. In my skin. Everything. And it came with so many answers. And so many more tragedies. I think that's one of the worst parts of it. I can remember how it hurt. I just can't remember the sight. I can't remember the fact. I can't see them. I know that I escaped Regina Young, that I never finished my training, but I never got the programming entirely out of my head either. That I wasn't alone. I had friends, my work, daughter. I joined the Camarilla properly and not just to infiltrate it, and I didn't kill. Those hands felt so much less bloody to clench the fists of. Soul tells me what I can when I pester them, helping me fill in the gaps whenever my arm burns and I know I'm meant to recognize something, be it a person, a name, or somewhere that we go. They're patient and kind, but I see the way they look at me sometimes when I'm feeling the burn. They miss Maxie. They're Maxie. And they grieve for me losing my chance. I grieve for it too. Luckily, we have our work. The others are all patient with me, even Victoria, though I think the others mostly feel guilty. Or they pity me. Maybe both. But I've been doing my part and not letting the lapses and burns distract me too much. This is the longest I've spent in one place since Regina's cage. I still have trouble believing she's dead some nights. It feels like a trick. Like I'm meant to be letting my guard down. And it doesn't matter how much good I think I'm doing, or how many people I crawl into the beds of, or how many victims I'm learning to spare with the other's help, I still see her sometimes. I still hear her voice. Feel her fingers on my neck. And sometimes it makes me slip up. I keep killing people. I think I'm always going to be more inclined to do it than the others. At least they're learning how to make use of it instead of just condemning me for it. Though I hear the hesitation and guilt in their voices when they just tell me a name and an address. Sometimes Charlie comes along under the guise of helping, but he's there to keep an eye on me and restrain me if I start to slip. I do sometimes. They don't tend to talk to me for a day or two after I do. They're never sure what to say, because they're not sure how I feel about it. How I feel about losing control, when control is all that matters to a venturer. I don't know how I feel about it either. <laughs>